I'm Rachel Stass. For Assignment 5, I created a literature review essay and presentation on metadata harvesting. There are several methods used to create metadata, which include manual, automatic, and a combination of both manual and automatic metadata generation. Meta manual generation is exactly what it sounds like. It requires a human to create and input the metadata to a, create a record. Automatic metadata, metadata generation includes a process involving extraction and harvesting. Extraction requires computers to extract components of a digital object, such as the title, author, or address, and assign them to fitting elements in a new structure. Sometimes metadata is also harvested using computer software specifically made for utilizing already created metadata in existing repositories. Metadata is harvested from servers where the formats are recognizable and done largely through the Open Archives Initiative Protocol for Metadata Harvesting, or OAI-PMH. After harvesting the metadata, it is adjusted to fit a new data database. This process can be done all across the world, making the generation of metadata for multiple institutions more efficient and economical. Harvesting enhances the availability of materials for indi individuals bringing cultural objects and materials from all across the globe into the widely available internet. Various authors have written about the metadata harvesting process, implications, positive aspects, and the improvement methods associated with harvesting. Several articles are included to describe harvesting and a variety of subjects associated with metadata harvesting. The authors I have included are listed below. The positive aspects of harvesting include the speed, inexpensiveness, interoperability, and computers can do large quantities of this at one time. All of these make harvesting a viable option for libraries and other metadata utilizing institutions. There are, of course, negative implications. They include lower green levels of granularity, redundancy of results, computer miscommunication, or a language barrier between humans and computers, and crosswalking complications. In my opinion, these issues can be said to stem from low levels of granularity. Libraries can get a small amount of information accurately at all times using harvesting. The reliability of using the harvesting method to obtain metadata has issues that still need attention. Of course, we can always use Google Books as an example to demonstrate some of the issues that need attention for metadata harvesting. Here are a few of my literature reviews. Jane Hunter and Anna Gerber present some interesting views and options for bettering the use of harvesting in the article listed on this slide. They suggest folksonomies. I thought this was particularly interesting. Rather than create a high-tech method to improve accuracy, they suggested using a tool already in place. Gerber and Hunter explain the benefits of using folksonomies in conjunction with harvesting. Social tagging allows for great knowledge dissemination and the opportunity for new categories to be added to the item. Unfortunately, while the theory of tagging appears promising, the untrained taggers may put the item in the wrong category or encourage inconsistencies in the tagging. While the connection this article has to harvesting metadata evolves much later in the article, the benefits of using harvesting are evident. The system suggested by Gerber and Hunter is Harvana, which uses AO OAI allowing this for standards to be set in place and additional and in addition metadata to be included in the collections. The community can still tag and the authoritativeness of the metadata is improved. Muriel describes the redundancy in harvesting metadata and information redundancy across metadata collections. She describes the experiments emphasizing the information redundancy that occurs using OAI. The first experiment takes a group of 176 metadata collections 
and describes similarities in the information within the metadata records. Another experiment is provided as an example which focuses on the tendency for certain items from the same collection to appear together because they do not have enough differing inf searchable information. As compared to Hunter and Gerber's positive experience with harvesting, Muriel argues its negative implications. It does not transfer to mark well. There is no distinctive information that separates items in each collection. Thus, a searcher's results are deteriorated if they do not match exactly as the computer understood the harvested metadata. For example, Muriel states, the description property value only differs in a single character, the page number. Our hypothesis was that the presence of such similar records could have an impact on the retrieval and selection of records in the context of a digital library system built on top of a large aggregation. David Stern explains in this article very clearly the replacement of the federated search by harvesting. A federated search is a search for one query through multiple resources. It would be like using a search engine. Harvesting is new, fast, and cheap. Computers use harvesting very efficiently and can create relationships between items that humans might otherwise miss. Stern explains that they are successful at this through indexing. Like Anna Gerber and Jane Hunter, he also mentions the benefits of using social tagging. It has the ability to add synonyms to the controlled vocabulary that would otherwise be missed. The four authors listed at the beginning of this presentation contributed to this article, Metadata Harvesting in Regional Digital Libraries in the Pioneer Network. Pioneer stands for Polish Optical Internet Advanced Applications, Services, and Technologies for the Information Society first came into existence in 2001. One of its main objectives was to enrich the content-based services in Polish NREM, and in order to reach this goal, several digital library installations have been started up. This activity was to assist librarians and university publishers with digital content management and publishing. However, to reflect their expectations, Pioneer introduced the concept of regional digital libraries starting in 2002 with its first digital regional library. The system lacked any type of infrastructure to establish standards and communication between the digital regional libraries. Harvesting enabled the creation of standards. It also served as a linking point for the items, metadata, and all of the digital regional libraries. Patrons now could effectively use all the digital regional libraries with minimal effort or complication. The author of this article is Terry Reese. He also created MarkEdit. MarkEdit allows for simple, straightforward mapping from Dublin Core to Mark, as well as other standards. It is easy for technical services staff to use and allows for accurate catalog records to be created. He found the complications and challenges between mapping Dublin Core fields to Mark fields inexcusable. The patrons are benefiting from the continuously growing availability of digital collections, but the ability to catalog the records is not there. This, in turn, has an effect on the searchability. If you have any great resources, but no good way to search through them, they are not helpful. Most libraries use Mark, but OAI uses Dublin Core. His example when moving from a schema of high granularity like MARC to less, a less granular schema like Dublin Core, the loss of both bibliographic content as well as general content is inexcusable. Of course, the same problem occurs when moving from low to high. In conclusion, harvesting metadata, metadata is not without complications. It does, however, have many valuable and helpful qualities. Many of those qualities lie in the simplicity, economical value, and speed of harvesting. The previous articles mentioned in this presentation and in my essay depict the positive aspects and challenges associated with metadata harvesting.
several institutions in my essay and the pioneer system in this presentation use harvesting to benefit their institutions in unique ways. Their methods promote the evolution of digital libraries and help in the success of OAI, harvesting, and the libraries in general. Com combining various methods can be useful and can lead to new creations in libraries and methods of utilizing successful harvesting.